if you are writing the IPMAT by IIM Rohtak exam on 26th of this month, stay with me till the end of this video because we will be talking about a lot of relevant things, a lot of important things related to IPMAT exam and what you need to do in the last seven days in order to maximize your chances of success. Welcome all of you to this video by Pathfinder for me. My name is Manish Kane and as I just told you that we will be talking about the IPMAT 2022 exam and what you could do to maximize your score in the last seven days. What you could do in the last seven days. But before we start, if you are a 2023 IPMAT aspirant and here by an accident, here is something for you. Uh, you can inquire about IPMAT course, about how to prepare, just message IPMAT to 93439. 21347 and we will gladly help you. In case you are appearing for IPMAT 2022 for practice and seriously want to try it again next year, you can also appear for a scholarship test in case you wish to join our physical program. Uh, our scholarship test is being held on the 25th of this month. So let, let's get started by first of all going through the pattern once again. So last seven days, I know many of you already have looked at the pattern and seen the type of questions that have been asked. But if you are somebody who has never known the pattern or never tried to find the pattern, here is the IPMAT I am Rohtak pattern for you. Three sections as it has always been. Each section will have 40 questions. The total time available for the exam is 120 minutes. Each question, if you answer correctly, you will get four marks. If you get it wrong, you will have a penalty of one mark. So you will be one mark will be deducted from your score for every wrong answer. And there is no sectional time limits. So with this understanding, there is one more thing you need to get straight in your mind. Uh, there is one more thing which you understand, which you should understand. And that is in the IPMAT IM Rohtak exam, speed definitely matters. So the cutoffs in the last few years have been close to just higher than 50% of the marks. And if you have to score those marks, you will have to be fast. And therefore, IPMAT, I am Rohtak, speed to some extent definitely surely matters. Let us have a look at the cutoffs in the last few years. In 2021, you can see that cutoff was 265 out of 480. In 2020, you can see that the cutoff was 145 out of 240. This was a COVID year. And the time was halved and even the cutoff went roughly to half the 265. It's just more than half of 265. And 2019 again, the cutoff out of 480 was 256 marks. And any guesses what it would be this year? I wish I could give you an accurate figure, but I believe, you know, I have a hunch that unless the exam pattern or the level of difficulty of exam is greatly changed, the cutoff would be around 265 only this year also. So with that information, let us try to see what you can expect in the quantitative aptitude section. Many of you have messaged me that, you know, you find the quantitative aptitude section tough. Let me tell you, there is nothing difficult about the quant section in I am Rohatak. At least that has been the history. Arithmetic has dominated. And these are the areas from which questions have appeared in the last few years. Which are those areas? Time and distance, time and work, numbers, I'm sorry, percentage, average, set theory, permutation, combination, quadratic equations. If I were you, I would not miss out on the basics of probability there. Each of these areas, around three to five questions were asked. And anybody who gets around 22 to 25 out of these 40 questions correct stands to gain, which tells me that the level of difficulty of the last two, three years papers would not have been very, you know, the level of difficulty would have been low. And if the same trend continues, 25 questions, and you can easily, easily, easily answer those 25 questions out of 40. Next we have the question break of reasoning Reasoning will have questions of analogies, of data sufficiency, then direction sense, blood relations, 
series, data arrangement, seating arrangement, coding, decoding, syllogisms and critical reasoning. Again, not very difficult questions, all straightforward questions which are manageable. So unless the difficulty level greatly changes, you can expect if you're good at if you're good at reasoning, you can expect to solve around 25 questions correctly in this segment also. And finally, we have the question breakup of verbal ability around 16 questions of reading comprehension, eight questions of parajumbles and six questions of grammar. Then you also have questions related to fill in the blanks and vocabulary. So practice these questions in the last seven days that will help you. But even more important for the last seven days is how much, you know, how much is speed important? Is speed the only important thing or does accuracy matters? My simple answer to that is obviously speed without accuracy has no meaning. So when I ask you to be fast, when I ask you to attempt 75, 80 questions correctly, it means that the questions must be attempted correctly. If you attempt 80 questions and get 40 of them wrong, you are not going to make it. So speed versus accuracy, it's a balance of both. Probably speed around 80, 85 questions, you should try to attempt out of 120. And even if you get 14, 15 of them, uh, even if you get, get with, a, with a reasonably good degree of accuracy also. Sectional cutoffs. Traditionally, there has been no sectional cutoffs in IIM Rohtak, but you never know. IIMs have had the habit of changing things from time to time. But in the last few years, there have been no sectional cutoffs. How much time to each section? If you have not experimented so far, start with 40, 40, 40 and then increase some section by 5 or decrease some section by 5 depending on how comfortable you are with that section. Next, what to do in the next few days? You know, that's another question which people ask me, which students have asked me. Very simple, revise basic sheets. The level of difficulty in the last few years has not been very high. Questions, very basic questions which appear in your first uh, phase sheets, you should revise every sheet. Revise all types of questions that have been appearing in the basic sheets. And make it a point that if some topic you have not touched for a long, long time, you revise basics and solve some of those questions. If you have any weak areas, work on your weak areas, but don't overspend time because now seven days, I doubt if you can greatly eliminate a weak area. Probably out of three, four, five weaknesses, you can, you can attack one. But don't spend your time only on weaker sections or weaker areas because you are not going to win because of weak sections. You will win because of your strengths, not because of your weaknesses. Mocks, if you have no revision to be done, take mocks every day. If you have revision to be done, take two or three mocks, not more than two or three mocks. And a day before the D-Day, make sure that you get yourself very good sleep. Don't try to stay awake. Don't try to prepare through the night. No night outs a day before exams. Remain balanced. Eat right. Make sure you get yourself full rest. Have the habit of taking exams in that two to four time slots. If you've not taken an exam in the two to four time slot, please do so. The last few days, this is what you should focus your attention on. Because if you've been taking the mock tests in the morning, your mock, your actual test is going to be between 2 to 4. See how you respond when you take the test between 2 to 4. Is there a major change in your score? Then you've got to do something about it. So these are the things that you should be focusing your attention on in the last few days. I hope that gives you some food for thought in order to spend the next 7 days productively and maximize your chances for succeeding in the IPMAT Rohtak exam. So with that, uh, I, uh, you know, I have said what I wanted to say. If you have any queries, any questions, feel free to message your questions in the chat box below this video. 
once again for your reminder if you are here if you are an IPMAT 2023 aspirant do appear for our scholarship test on 25th of this month with that I would like to say thank you very much and all the best for your IPMAT IM Rohatak exam stay tuned to our channel for an analysis of IPMAT IM Rohatak on 25th of this month on 26th of this month thank you